Well, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is once again going into the arms of Floridians. After a pause by federal officials, FEMA sites are now giving out thousands of doses a day. Eight on your side's Nico Clements joins us live at the Tampa Greyhound track with how people are feeling about getting the vaccine after the pause. Good morning. Hey Avery, well, many people have already come through the Tampa Greyhound track this morning, but while Johnson & Johnson is back and deemed safe, some people still have their doubts about the vaccine. Of the 3,000 Johnson & Johnson shots here Sunday, the state gave out less than 200. The Pfizer would be the best option for me with what they're offering. Almost two weeks after the Johnson & Johnson vaccine was removed from the Tampa Greyhound track, federal officials are ready to use it again. FEMA sites across the state, including this one, are now offering 3,000 Johnson & Johnson doses a day. Federal agencies lifted the pause on the vaccine Friday after federal regulators reviewed data on blood clots and assessed the risk associated with the vaccine. But the vaccine is not in high demand. Over the weekend, Haley Barber went a different direction. Uh, the Johnson & Johnson, I went against that because of the blood clots and um, yeah, the Pfizer just sounds better with the research. Others are in favor of the one shot option. Said they got it taken care of, so I believe them. People are taking it and just like anything else, I mean, some people get sick and some people won't, so it's a chance. Now health officials are going on a full court press telling people the vaccine is effective and extremely low risk. We clearly have a situation where the benefits greatly outweigh the risks, even for younger women. You can still get the Pfizer vaccine here at the Tampa Greyhound track. The state has not said right now when the mobile vaccination events will resume administering Johnson & Johnson. Live in Tampa, I'm Nico Clemens, 8 on your side.